from this point and finally uh, trajecting this trajectory going through this path parabolic path finally the rocket hit the ground at this point and finally the rocket hit the ground with a speed or you can say velocity 15.27 meter per second we launch the rocket with a speed 14.2 meter per second and finally it hit the ground with a speed 15.27 meter per second so this speed is known as the final speed and this speed is known as the initial speed right and because it is going up so the initial speed is taken as negative right so the final speed is 15.27 initial speed is 14.2 meter but initial speed is going up so i will take minus minus 14.2 and plus because the projectile now it's, it is coming down right it is coming down so plus 9.81 and then t okay then t now i take this 14.2 uh, in the left side so this becomes 15.27 uh, and this will be plus 14.2 equal to 9.81 into t so i'm interested in t so t will be equal to 15.27 plus 14.2 divided by 9.81 and if you calculate this time that will be around 3.00 uh, minute this is a minute or you calculate this is no sorry uh, this is uh, meter per second this is in second three second in three second in three second the in three second the, the rocket hit the ground with this much of speed okay clear now second the range range means i already told you range is the horizontal distance travel okay horizontal distance travel from, means from this point on the ground to this point on the ground that is the range okay so range of the rocket basically it's a horizontal distance travel horizontal distance traveled horizontal distance traveled so how to find out horizontal distance the very famous formula distance equals speed into time okay so the formula is the formula is distance equals speed into time distance horizontal distance equal speed multiply time okay horizontal distance horizontal distance suppose this is sx horizontal distance from this point to this point this is sx from here to here right this is sx from this point to this point sx horizontal distance along the x-axis so that will be equal to horizontal speed vx which component of the speed take the rocket along the x-axis sophia which component of the speed take the rocket to the x-axis this component or this component yeah vx okay vx because horizontal distance is traveled by vx vertical distance is traveled by vy so i will take vx and already we calculated time of flight t now it's easy now it's, very, it's going like horizontal right is that yeah this x? is this is the range range from starting point on the ground to the end point that is the range all right so now sx sx that will be 11. 1 meter per second multiplied time time is 3 second okay 3 second so this is 3 second 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 cancel so sx that will be equal to 33.3 meter okay so 33.3 meter is the range of this rocket it's a very small range it's a very small rocket okay probably as much as this space right okay so this uh, is about the range and the time of flight okay please.